Welcome everyone. Vedanta philosophy is closely aligned with the Upanishads, which are the gist and goal of the Vedas. There are many schools of Vedanta that differ in their explanation of God, reality, and the way to salvation or moksha. However, the most important ones are Advaita Vedanta, principle of non-dualism, Dvaita Vedanta, principle of dualism, and Vishishtadvaita Vedanta, principle of superior dualism. The core of Vedanta sits on three books of Hindu texts, the Upanishads, the Bhagavad Gita, and the Brahma Sutras. These books are collectively called Prasthana Tri, and all the scholars, including Adi Shankara, Ramanuja, and Madhav Acharya, based their teachings on one of these books. Vedanta explains reality on three bases, Brahman or Ishvara, the ultimate reality, Atman or Jivatman, the individual soul, and Prakriti or Jagat, the visible and ever-changing universe and reality. Vedanta teaches us about the connection between the Supreme, the reality and us. According to Vedanta, God or Brahman is infinite existence, infinite consciousness, and infinite bliss. Though the concept of Brahman differs among the various schools of Vedanta, they all agree that there is a Supreme Being, or energy or source in the universe, and we are connected to it in one way or the other. In Advaita philosophy, which is essentially monism, the ultimate, transcendent God manifests as the universe because of its creative energy, Maya. Dvaita Vedanta regards Brahman as a separate entity from Atman. While Vishishtadvaita Vedanta believes Brahman is eternal but exists in various forms as Atman. Vedanta is a way of life and teaches us to be in harmony with others and, most importantly, with the true self or Atman. In conclusion, Vedanta is the most influential school of theology in Hinduism all over the world. We hope you found this video informative. Thank you for your time.